Well, that is definitely looking better. Hello everyone, my name is Endavar and welcome back to another episode from the single player survival series. And I hope you enjoyed that time that was at the beginning of me building this crazy ceiling. And very happy with how this has turned out. I'm using very simple materials, the oak and the spruce, just like what we've got over at the village. But to balance that out, I've tried to just add a few interesting shapes just to make it look really cool. And I think I've achieved that. So after the time lapse, I went around and I swapped out the bottom fence post with an iron chain just to extend that a little bit. And I think that looks way better. So I've, I've added that on all of these now. And I also did a little bit of texturing in the wall. So I've just swapped out some of this stone brick. So it was a bit stone brick heavy. Like at this side, I need to do a bit more. I just need to grab some more stone. So yeah, that's, that's all I did there. And then we've got this, I don't know what this is, just some design above the chest. I don't know if I like this coming down as far as it does. So I may change that out a little bit. But I didn't like it when it just went straight across. But anyway, I think we can call this room pretty much finished. I do need to add in a little bit more storage in the sides. I've got to put the chest here for the iron blocks once I get those crafted. But the, the storage in here is alright for now. I haven't done any AFK yet, so this is all just from while I've been building this. So a couple of chests worth, not bad at all. And then at this side, I need to get the filter in for the poppies. So those will probably be going a bit crazy now. I may need to do that fairly soon. But I'm very excited for the projects I've got in mind for today. So this room looking very cool now and my village let's, let's go have a look at the village just so you can see what i'm talking about this village i love it it looks really really good and having those two things looking that good it's, it's nice it's nice to be able to walk around but the thing that upsets me is when i come down here this goes into the tunnel that goes to the iron farm and it's it's rubbish look at it it's just a long boring straight flat tunnel and I don't like it. It upsets me. So what I want to do today is get this completely finished. So my plan for this tunnel has always been that it will be a sewer. So it's going to go from under my village. And there's going to be a drop down from every single house in that village. And then there will be a sewer leading down from the village over there. At straight into the perimeter. So let's have a quick look at the designs I've been thinking about to go in this sewer. The way I've always pictured this is to do something similar to what I did in my cave spider and skeleton spawner area which isn't here anymore because it all got blown up when I did this perimeter but what I had in there just in case you haven't seen it or you don't remember I had stone brick going down the center but we'll just leave the stone there for now and then at the sides we had the stone brick stairs actually let's put the stone brick there just to make it look a bit fancier uh, so some of that like that and then up the sides, it was probably going to be either stairs all the way along or having something like that. So there was a, a gap of three, maybe five, I don't know. Something like that. And then these stairs at the bottom would be waterlogged. And because it's got this horrible swamp colour, it actually looks really good as a sewer. So this is the kind of thing I was thinking. And obviously on both sides, you'll probably face the stairs the other way. But I've actually abandoned this idea because I don't think it's quite big enough. This is going to be going across all of my world. And I think having something this tiny, it doesn't really look like it's a sewer for a huge system. So I think I'm going to go a bit bigger. And what I actually want to do is dig out about maybe three. Actually, I'm going to dig out the whole width of this. I'm going to have the whole width of this dug out and two blocks deep. And then having the water looking like it's flowing all the way along. And I think that could be, look pretty good. We'll have like the seagrass at the bottom. Maybe a few lily pads here and there. Just, just to make it look like it's very, very well used. But because of that, I'm not going to have anywhere to walk. So what I think I want to do is actually dig maybe five blocks to each side. So there's a walkway down each side. So this looks like it's an actual proper big sewer. So that... Is what I want to do. I'm going to get rid of all this and I'm going to do a little bit of digging. But before we get to that, there is something I want to set up because I'm going to be using a lot of mossy stone brick and mossy cobble down here, but I don't think I have a lot of the vines. So I'm going to go set up a quick farm for the vines and then we can get on with doing some digging. So let's get up to the village and we'll go check on our stocks. Okay, so I've had a quick look around my storage and it looks like all I've got is what's in here so we've got 
almost two and a half stacks. And I don't think that's going to do it because when you're crafting the mossy stone bricks, it is one to one. So you need one stone brick and one vine to create one mossy stone brick. So two and a half stacks, definitely not going to do with me. So I've got a few blocks on me. We'll use the stone bricks. I think that's quite appropriate. And if we just come out here somewhere, where should we do it? Let's do it over here. Because the, the, these are ugly farms, these anyway. So let's put this down here somewhere. And then we're going we're gonna to be right above where the sewer is going anyway. So these are definitely going to be growing while we're working on this. So while we're doing a bit of digging out, these can be growing. And then once that's done, we'll come up and harvest them. So what we've got? So let's go, let's go eight high. I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to reach that, but... It should be plenty of growth that I can reach anyway. So let's just go across here. Let's just do... Let's go all the way. Let's do all these blocks. As long as I don't go over the edge there. Because I want a ton of these. Now, unfortunately, there isn't really a way of automating this. I could automate the collection or make that a little bit easier. But I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm just going to have a load of these growing. And I'll just come along with my shears. And we'll get that. I think I'll just go that far. Right. So all I need to do is just place these along the side and then these will immediately start growing down. And then once they're down at the bottom, we'll start harvesting them. So I'll get this finished and then we'll get back down into the sewers. Okay, so we've got that done now and I also extended it back across this way as well. So I used almost two full stacks on that and as you can see, they're already growing. So this is going to be really good once it gets all the way down. We're going to get absolutely tons out of this. So for now, I've left myself a few so I can craft these up into the mossy stone bricks but first job I think we need to do some digging so let's go back down here and I just wanted to mention one more th where is it there we go one more thing about this design that I've just shown you down here I will actually be using this it won't be going to waste so this main tunnel is going to be a lot wider completely different design but then down here where we've got the entrance from the village I don't know if it's going to line up right but down here this is where I'm going to put that design that we've just put there, it's going to be something at least very, very similar to that anyway, if not the exact same thing. So this is going to come from the village. There's going to be smaller tunnels going into each house. Then this will be the main tunnel from the village. And then this one at the end will be the main sewer for the whole area. So the first annoying job that I've got to do is I need to get rid of all of this. Because as this was just going to be five wide, I thought I could get away with leaving these chests here. But unfortunately... I need to get rid of these now. But the good news is I do actually have some shulker boxes so I can pack all these up, get rid of this, and then we'll get on with doing some digging. Okay, so a short time later, we have a sewer dugout, and this is more like it. This is what I was thinking. So, we've had that very narrow tunnel before, basically this width, and I've dug it down a little bit, and what have I got here? Four blocks either side, and a little bit going up as well. So, I did add another beacon in at this end, because this tunnel is so long, that one doesn't reach all the way down here so I do have another beacon and obviously I can go another 50 blocks that way with it but I thought this would do for now I've just taken it to slightly past where our village tunnel is going to be I think this is plenty to be getting on with for now so you will see these andesite blocks going down the middle and what I'm doing here is actually going to section this off into five wide sections so I had two options for where this could line up it was either the iron farm entrance or the village entrance and this one is one that I definitely didn't want to move so I made sure it lined up with this one and then we can do something else with the village tunnel when we actually get down there because that 
not even decorated yet, so not a problem to move. So at the side of these andesite blocks, in line with those, I'm going to have columns going up here and some kind of crazy archway going across the top. All of this is going to be filled in with water and then we're going to have stairs at this height. So I did say it would be five wide and it kind of will be, but these stairs will be waterlogged. And then we're going to have some iron bars across the middle here just to like section it off like it's a grate for catching things. And then all the way down the middle, we're going to have this cobblestone and the mossy cobblestone, some of the stone brick as well, and then just ton of bone meal so we'll get loads of seagrass down there. And I think this is going to look really, really cool. So the first thing we need to do now is actually check on our farm. So let's see if we've got any vines growing. And I think the answer is yes. Yes, we have. So they're so random, these things. Some of them barely grown. Some of them have gone right to the floor. So I'm going to get on with harvesting these. We'll craft up some mossy stone and then we'll get back down there. Right. Well, I've got most of that trimmed down as far as I can reach. And this has already started growing again. But you know what? I've got... Over four and a half stacks on me now, so I think that should do to get started. So we'll get on with doing a bit of building, and if I need some more, I'll just come back up and get it. So I think we need to start getting on with it now. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look at these resources, because I think I've got everything I need in here. Got a ton of stone, and all of these shulker boxes, all eight of them, completely full of stone as well. And I've got a few other little bits in here. The stone bricks I've already crafted. I'm going to be using a little bit of andesite as well, and then just random junk in the top of net. So I think now it's time to get on with it. So let's jump into another tile lapse and get this sewer completely finished. Okay, so there we go. That is our sewer completely finished. And I like this thing. When you compare it to what we had earlier, just that five wide tunnel, this this is an absolutely unbelievable improvement. So when I'm coming down to my own farm, this is what I'm going to be going through. And that makes me very, very happy. So the last little thing I want to do, well, I've got a little bit of time. And this is flyable, so let's prove it. Yeah, excellent. Right, so I started putting in some of the walls for this tunnel. This, so this is the one that is going to go from the everything that's in the village. And at the moment, this is the drop behind my main storage building. So this one isn't going to be here. This tunnel is going to go a lot further down here. I have to be careful not to break too much of this though. It's that block there, isn't it? So I can... Can I break that? I can. I can break that. So this is going to go a lot further this way. But it's going to come out into here. And I wanted to have some kind of water in here. It won't be dug down like this. But what I was thinking was, if I had stairs going down like this and have these water locked. So just do a little bit of this. I thought it'd be interesting if we had this come out all the way. So I'll get rid of those. And if I had this come out here like this. And then have these come all the way to the end. What we could do, uh, maybe not that far. Can we go? I'm going to do this. 
I need it so it'll... Oh, wait. I might have to do it like that, actually. Yeah, if we did that, and then have it... No, not you. Stairs. Give me stairs. And if we bring these blocks so it's all guarded that way, and then... Let's grab some water. Let's give this a try. I think this should be pretty good. And I think down here as well, we're not going to have the swamp water. I think if we go a little bit further along. But anyway, let's just put these in and give this a little bit of a test. So, water, you go there. Grab that one. And I think I'll go there. Yeah, that's going to flow down to there. I think that is actually going to look really, really cool. So, let's just put a few more of these in. And see how this looks. So, I will do all the texturing I've done in here as well. So I've got a lot of the a mossy stone brick and a little bit of the mossy cobble as well. I do want to add in some cracked stone brick, but I didn't have any. So doing this, this is what took the time. It did take quite a while, even though this is quite repetitive and you can kind of get into a rhythm of doing it. Putting, putting the texture in and trying to make it a little bit different every time does take a very, very long time. So never mind. We got there and I really like it. And I think this is definitely gonna work as well. So I'll do a little bit more work on this now and we'll have a look in a second. Okay, so I've got all that done now and I just wanted to test what it looks like coming in from this water drop. So yeah, that is definitely a lot better. So I have started building it this way as well, but it needs to go a lot further than this. And I realized that is actually gonna take quite a lot of time. So I just wanted to give this little bit here a test and figure it out. And as I said, the water here is a little bit different and I actually like this effect. It's like once you get into the main tunnel, it's obviously a lot dirtier. So I think it actually makes sense. It's worked very well that we've got the clean water here. So that's brilliant. And while I'm stood here recording this bit, I've just noticed that I've missed a stair block there. Of all the sections to miss it on, I've done it on the one that I see coming out of this tunnel. So that has to be fixed. There we go. That's better. So now we've got that done, I think I'm going to leave it there because as you can imagine, this tunnel did take a very, very long time, but compared to what I've got planned for next time, it's absolutely nothing. So let's go have a look. So this tunnel actually flows out into my perimeter and I haven't shown this yet, this section. So it's flowing down like this. I'm going to build some kind of structure out here so it looks like it makes sense. But next time, it's the one that I've been waiting for. I want to start building up these quad witches so we've got them all marked out here we've got our afk point marked out and we have a 300 by 300 perimeter all dug out so next time we're going to get to it i'm going to get this done but for now i'm going to leave it there so if you have enjoyed this episode please do leave a like and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching everyone bye bye <laughs>